test. And today we're looking at percent of. Percent of means a portion of a total. There's kind of two types of questions. Scenario one, you could have two numbers or scenario two, you have a percentage and one number. Let's take a look at an example. Scenario one, uh, this is an example if you have two numbers and this is true. I just went to my cupboard and saw that my daughters had been eating all the cookies. I only have 13 cookies left. The box came with 32 cookies. What percentage of cookies are left? Now you can pause the video and try to work it out. I recommend it. Uh, but if you've never seen this before, then we're carrying on. Here we go. So this question came with two numbers. There's 13 of 32 cookies. Or you could say there's 13 of 32. Either way, we're going to set this question up um, and make it look like something familiar. Um, if you got out of, for example, if this was a test and you got 13 out of 32, it might be written on your paper like this. Now, you may know this, you may not, but the line in a fraction actually means divided by. And when you're doing this, it's always the numerator divided by the denominator. So you're always gonna put the top number in a calculator first and figure this out. So let me bring up a calculator here. Oh, this question comes next. Hang on to your one here. So 13 out of 32. And when I do that, Google tells me it's 0 0.40625. So let me just grab that if I can. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to paste that in there. So you can use a calculator for this math. I recommend it. And if I was setting this up as an equation, it would look something like this. This would be showing your work. You want to show uh, the, the fraction and you're converting it to a decimal. Now, but a decimal is not a percent. Your calculator doesn't like percentages. And if you have a percent button on your calculator, I recommend that you don't use it. Don't trust it. You're going to get weird answers. We know that the word per cent, if I spell it like this, actually means out of 100. If you live to be a century, you're 100 years old. If you have 100 cents or a dollar, um, that's 100. So there's 100 of them in, in a dollar. The word has been matched together to equal percent. Percent actually means out of 100. So in order to change a decimal, which we have up here, into a percent, you just have to take that decimal and multiply it by 100. It's that easy. If you can figure out what the decimal is, then you multiply it by 100. And if you were to pull this up on a calculator, you would see um, that you would get... Uh, 40.625. Now, if your teacher asks you to round this to the nearest, oh, I forgot to put the percent symbol in there. If your teacher asks you to round it to the nearest tenth, then you'd have to look at the tenths place, look at the number to the right of it, which is only a two. That means the six won't go up. The six will stay a six because its neighbor to the right is less than a five. So if you had to round this, your final answer would be 40.6% uh, or less than half my cookies. Thanks, girls. <laughs>